Hey everyone, welcome to part six of my Logic Pro 11 side chaining techniques course. In this video, we are going to jump into the side chain detection filter. Now, as I said in a previous video, this entire area here is technically called the detection filter, but Logic separates it into two different sections. And we're gonna be talking about this over the next two videos. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get that creamy vocal compression type of sound by stacking up two compressions and also using both of their sidechain detection filters to pinpoint specific frequencies that you want to trigger the compressor to react to more than others. And then in the next video, we're going to do the same with the bass guitar. Now off screen, I added in a vocal for this track. I also changed up the ending a little bit. So let's just give it a listen as is. unfolds every whispered word was a moment stolen the melody echoes inside my heart like the beat of a drum I can't let go Okay, so let's just sort of hone in on the vocals here. So I've already got a compressor on the vocal. Here I'm using the vintage opto circuit. And you know what, it sounds pretty good as is, but there are still some spots in here, like here and here and some other areas where like the softer parts are still too soft and the loud parts are still too loud. And so what we wanna do is we want to use the sidechain detection filter to sort of find the most resonant frequency in this voice and use that resonant area to trigger the compressor to compress more than other frequencies. And ultimately what this will give us is a more balanced vocal where we can clearly hear all of the words. Now, for me, I always find that with vocalists, there's always a resonant area in their voice and it's often at like the top of their range or the, the, the higher parts of their range. And this is especially uh, noticeable for me. I have a very nasally uh, singing voice. And so we're gonna try to find that nasally resonance and use that as our trigger to uh, make the compression happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go into the side chain section here. I'm gonna go ahead and just solo the vocal for now. And there are three buttons here for the filter. Off, which basically just disengages the filter all together, it's not even used. On is used when you are using the filter, but you just wanna hear the output of the compressor. And then listen allows you to solo and audition the sound of the filter. Now, just to be clear here, when you're using a sidechain filter, you're not going to hear the filter in the output of the compressor, unless you're in listen mode, which you're never gonna keep it in listen mode. Listen is only for when you're trying to dial in your set Settings. Once you're done with that, you're gonna move over to the on mode. So the point of the filter is it takes your side chain input, whether that be internal or external, and filters it so that the signal that is making the compression happen is different from the signal just dry without any filter on it. And so what you can do here is you can apply a low pass filter, meaning that you're allowing lows while cutting highs. You can do a band pass filter, which cuts lows and highs. We're going to use that one in this video to kind of figure out what our resonant frequency is. High pass, where you cut the lows but keep the highs. Parametric EQ, which allows you to boost or cut a specific band while keeping the rest of the signal in. This is actually the mode that we're gonna use first. And then there's a high shelf as well. So let's go to the band pass. And what this is gonna do is it's going to band pass the vocal, and we're gonna hear this in listen mode. In the shadows. I can't forget you. And then there's also a cue control or bandwidth control here. 
in the shadow. I can't forget you. Oh, no. So over to the left is going to be a wider bandwidth. Over to the right is going to be a more narrow bandwidth. Let's put this over to the right because I really want to pinpoint the specific like frequency range that's the most nasally and resonant in this vocal. And I probably need to come over here to one of these louder spots uh, to best hear that. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The story we've told. The yes, yeah, so everything down in this range just seems like it's the meat of the vocal. Everything up in this range is more or less like the clarity, the diction, the sibilance, the air. So right around this 2K range, though, that's where I'm sort of hearing this resonant frequency in my voice that I don't like. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. Yeah, like right in that like 2500 range. Now, I don't necessarily need the Q to be uh, super narrow here. I'm actually going to pull it back. But we're actually not going to use the bandpass filter for this. I just use the bandpass to identify the resonant frequency. I still want the entire vocal to trigger the compression, the lows, the highs, everything. It's just that that resonant frequency, I want it to be a little louder in the sidechain input so that when those resonances are in the vocal, that we get even more compression to control those resonant areas, those nasally areas. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to the parametric EQ, and all the settings are going to be the same, except now you have a gain setting. So instead of isolating just this frequency range, now we still have the full frequency range, but we can boost or reduce that resonant area. And again, you may think, well, why would I want to boost it? Well, we want to boost it because we want that resonant frequency to trigger more compression to happen. You can do similar things with like a dynamic EQ, but this isn't a dynamic EQ. This is just applying more compression across the entire frequency range, but using this resonant area as the trigger for it the story we've told the memory unfolds every whispered word was okay so let's go to filter on and now let's hear what that sounds like the story we've told the memory unfolds every whispered word was a moment stolen and the great thing about this is now these areas where, you know, the vocal's a little softer, we're probably going to get very, very little compression. In the shadows. So those softer areas are going to be a little louder now in terms of, you know, the entire vocal. In the shadows. I can't forget you. Oh, no. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. And just for reference, let's listen to that same compression setting without the filter. In the shadows. I can't forget you, oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds, every whispered word was a moment stolen. It doesn't sound bad, it's just we're getting more control over those resonant areas. We're getting more compression on those resonant areas. And what I love about using the sidechain filter on vocals is by honing your sidechain source in a bit more to a specific resonance or a specific frequency range, this allows us to actually add a little bit more compression and really get that thick and creamy uh, vocal sound. In the shadows. I can't forget you, oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds, every whispered word was a moment stolen. And don't forget to add makeup gain because as you compress the signal, the overall volume is going to go down. Okay, so let's hear this in the mix now. In the shadows. I can't forget you, oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds, every whispered word was a moment stolen. 
cool. So we're getting a little uh, better balance there, I think. Let's go ahead and add another compressor to this track. And for this, I'm just gonna use the Platinum Digital Circuit. Now, there is a very well-known two-stage compression trick where you take a slower acting compressor like the Vintage Opto, and then you mix that with a faster moving circuit with a fast attack. This could be one of the FET circuits if you want it to be, but I'm just gonna use the Platinum Digital. Typically, what I do is I put the Opto circuit first, then the fast circuit second, but some people prefer uh, using it the other way. So I just wanted to point that out. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are going to create another sidechain filter. And this time, what we really wanna do is we want to tame any harsh consonant and more transient sounds, which will also uh, in effect help tame some of the S's and sibilants and hard T's and C's and other you know top end uh, uh, frequencies. So before we even dial in the side chain, let's just get like a fast acting setting here that just brings down the transients. In the shadows, I can't forget you. Oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The melody echoes inside my heart like the beat. Let's come over here where there's like a lot of S sounds and other consonant sounds. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Let's go ahead and work in peak detection mode. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is in the sidechain filter, we're going to use the high pass. And by using a high pass, we're going to make this second compressor only react to the high frequencies. Low frequencies are not gonna have any effect on this compressor. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. So in some ways, it's also kind of acting like a de -er would, but we're also going to be able to control some of like the harsher consonants and transients, like I said. So let's go ahead and turn on the filter and let's hear what the combined sound of both of these compressors sounds like. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. The story we've told, the memory unfolds. Every whispered word was a moment stolen. So we're getting sort of the body and the balance here and controlling the overall dynamics and also controlling those resonant areas. And then we're also controlling the more consonant and transient focused areas with this compressor. So let's hear uh, both of these in the mix. In the shadows, I can't forget you, oh no, the story we've told, the memory unfolds, every whispered word was a moment stolen, the melody echoes inside my heart, like the beat of Hear how when I bypass the compressors, certain elements are too quiet and then other elements are too loud and it just doesn't have that control. It doesn't have that creamy vocal sound we want. Okay, let me play it through one more time, but I won't bypass anything this time. What I'm also gonna do is over here on the opto circuit, I'm gonna dial back the mix a little bit just to let a little bit more through, just to kind of blend the dry signal a little bit with the wet signal. And then if I need any additional gain, I can sort of make it up over here on this compressor. In 
the shadows I can't forget you Oh no The story we've told The memory unfolds Every whispered word Was a moment stolen The melody echoes Inside my heart Like the beat of a drum I can't let go Cool. And just so you can see what the compressors are doing to the waveform, because sometimes it's easier to visualize. So I'll just select this track, press control B. We're going to bounce in place to a new track, one file, leave the source. We will keep our effects plugins and everything else will just keep off here. And then you can see the before and after. The second one is much more uniform, but still has some natural transients to it and has a natural ebb and flow to it. Whereas the original has these really soft areas, these really loud areas. And so it's sort of taking the dynamics and making them a little bit more uniform, but not squashing them so much like you'd you know get from like a limiter or something. So we're keeping some of the natural dynamics here while getting that creamy vocal compression sound, taming harsh resonances, taming hard consonants and we're doing all of this without the need for a deesser, without the need for like a multi-band compressor and without the need for like a dynamic EQ because the compressor is still compressing the entire signal. It's just that we're using the side chain filter to pinpoint what frequencies we want to provide more compression. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much for the support and thanks for watching.